Electric car sales in China have just hit 48% market penetration this month. BYD and Tesla, they're, they're just slaying Legacy Auto. I mean, Legacy Auto are in fear for their lives, as they should be. They took EVs, they, they thought, you know what? We don't care about electric cars. We don't really care about the fact that people want to stop breathing in toxic fumes, stop getting cancers, stop getting major health problems. We don't care. We just want to keep making billions of dollars in profit. This is true. I mean, you know, most public companies are like this. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them are. Legacy automakers thought, you know what? It doesn't matter if EVs can be made back in 2009 when Toyota first made a RAV4 EV. They went, you know what? It's not going to make us money. So why would we do that? And now they're about to pay a very, very serious price. China represents 32% of the world's car sales. But for legacy automakers, it has been their cash cow. They've been making billions and billions of dollars in China. They manufacture cars there at very, very low prices. And then they make these huge profits. But that is about to end. Not very long from now, those profits are going to almost completely dry up. And all these so-called assets that Toyota claim they have, that Honda claim they have, that all these car companies claim they have, will be virtually worthless. Now, what did Mitsubishi do when they left China last year? Did they sell their factories, make all this money, billions of dollars selling those factories? No, they did not. They just walked away. Everything that Mitsubishi bought, uh, it's just sitting there basically gathering dust. Electric car sales in the world's biggest country where more cars are sold every year than anywhere else, China. They've just increased by 40%. I mean, last year was a record year. But in China, well, yeah. Internal combustion is dying fast. Legacy Auto, they're dying fast in China. EV sales have just gone absolutely ballistic in the month of March. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And, you know, according to the media, there is an, an EV slowdown. According to statistics and facts, things that actually are real, not just printed words, uh, electric car sales are not actually slowing down. In fact, EV sales have grown by 84% from the same period last month. So for the first three weeks of last month, um, EV sales have grown by 84%. But if we compare March of this year to March of last year in China, electric car sales have actually grown by 40%. Considering EV sales have just hit 50%, as in, I mean, 50% of all cars sold in China, I believe it's about 48%, so very, very close to 50% were actually electric in the month of March. And this means that companies like BYD and Tesla are selling a lot of cars. Now, we don't know the exact numbers for Tesla and BYD so far, but from the sales numbers that I've seen here, Tesla actually is selling a lot of cars in China, a lot more than what we expected they would. So far this year, cumulative sales of EVs in China are now 1.5 million. Um, that's staggering. That's So far this year, that's 38% more EVs sold than last year. Sales of passenger EVs from March 1st to the 24th were 508,000. That's growth of 33% from the same period last year. And it's up 110% from February. Now, February, of course, is traditionally a pretty terrible month for sales. So don't take too much out of that. But the point here is, even if we just look at March, sales have grown by 33%. But if we look at the first two and a half months of the year, sales have actually grown by 40% in China. So China's car market is actually really struggling. What this means is internal combustion, as in Toyota, Nissan, Mazda, Subaru, you know, all these companies, all these Japanese automakers, European automakers, their sales, because they sell predominantly internal combustion vehicles in China, have basically collapsed in the first two and a half months of the year. I mean, something has to give, right? I mean, if EV sales grow by 40% for this year and car sales don't grow, then obviously internal combustion is, is dying in China very, very quickly. It's a bit of a concern because if companies like BMW, I mean, 34% of BMW sales last year were in China. Um, same thing for Mercedes-Benz. 
Uh, same thing for the Volkswagen Group. So yeah, it's a big issue here. General Motors, their sales in, in China obviously have, have collapsed. Ford, same thing. Basically, it's the same thing for all legacy automakers who are really not prepared. China's EV penetration rate so far in March is, is actually exactly 47.7%. That's close enough to 48%, I reckon. That's insane. Year to date, it's 38%. But in March, it's 48%. BYD CEO, he's saying, you know what? He thought they were going to hit 50% within three months. It's already happened. I mean, he said about a week ago, it's going to happen in three months' time. And then it just won't happen in March. So EV sales are going a lot quicker than what people realize. One of the key reasons for this is because the technology, guys, that we're seeing in some of the new EVs in China is just truly staggering. Uh, we've now seen uh, an electric car revealed in China that has a, a true solid state battery, not not the semi-solid state battery that Neo are talking about, but a true solid state battery. And CATL and BYD are working on a, joint, a JV, a joint venture project to manufacture, to mass manufacture solid state batteries. They're also um, just making their second generation lithium ion phosphate batteries, which have incredibly fast charging, can, fa- can charge in about 13, 12 or 13 minutes and have higher energy density than the past, the cheaper, you know, the EV revolution is rolling on. And now the media are telling us something else, but I think we're going to find by the end of this year, the media are going to shut up about the whole EV sales slowing down because actually I don't think they really are. Thank you for watching.